Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to Yarn Purpose. Today I want to talk to you about my new book and about top-down shawl shapes. Hey everyone, welcome back to Yarn Purpose. I'm very excited about today's video because today I want to talk to you a little bit about my brand new book. I have it right here. So my new book is Top Down Shawls. It just came out um, now in November of 2018. So it will be shipping to a yarn store or bookstore near you. You can order it online too if you want. Um, but the book really focuses on three of my favorite top down shawl shapes. So I just wanted to briefly show you those today. Um, there's all different ways you can knit a shawl. I talk about this kind of stuff all the time that, you know, you're almost unlimited, um, you know, in how you can knit a shawl. You can go any which way to knit a shawl. Um, but top down shawls remain to be a classic for me. And I really do love the classic shawl shapes. And so that's really what I'm focusing on in this book. So I just wanted to, again, just briefly show you a few of the shawls sort of my favorite ones from the book, and then also give you a quick little flip through. So the book starts with wedge shawls. So for me, a wedge shawl is like a top-down triangle or then a three wedge shawl. So here we got one here. The top-down triangle, this is Kokodama from the book. The top-down triangle shawl for me is gonna remain the um, ultimate classic top-down shawl. It's just two triangle wedges that you've, you know, knit together on either side of this increasing spine stitch. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can increase here and along the sides, um, but I really do love sort of that classic um, center spine um, with the yarn overs on either side. So I have two of the traditional triangle shawls in the book. There's this one and then there's this one here. But I also really love doing the three wedge, which is just like doing a triangle shawl. You can almost see that this here would make like just a regular triangle shawl, but you have a third panel. So instead of doing two wedges, you're doing three. And I really love this shawl shape, um, both to knit and to wear. But for me, um, as far as wearing shawls go, I really do prefer this three wedge shape. So this is Picara from the book. And I'll leave a link below to the um, book page on Ravelry so you can see all the patterns. I didn't bring every single shawl over here to show you, um, but so that way you can see all the patterns. But for me, the three wedge shawl is, is of, the, of the two, this one is my favorite one to wear. I think that it looks just so, so pretty. So after the wedge shawls, the book moves to the crescent shawl. The crescent shawl has been my latest obsession, to be honest. Um, I've knit, been knitting and designing crescent shawls for a long time, um, but lately I've just kind of fallen back in love with them. Um, so there's four crescent shawl patterns in the book. Here's one of them. This is Fiddleheads. So this particular one just starts with a um, garter stitch body and then goes into the lace. But what I really love about crescent shawls is just how wide you could get them. You can see it's even longer than my wingspan. Um, so for me, these are really great to wear. I especially love wearing them to the front like this. So I can sort of tuck them into my coat. You know, I live in Illinois, it gets cold. <laughs> um, so I love wearing my crescent shawls even just this way. Um, going sort of the front, almost more like a scarf. Um, I hate knitting scarves, but I love knitting this type of shawl and you can almost wear it like a scarf. Um, so this is just a really great shape. And then I have another one here that I brought over. This is Digitalis. This one's an all over lace pattern. I love this one. It's um, sort of feather and fan on steroids a little bit. Um, a little more complicated of a lace pattern, but not too bad. And then it goes down into this cool leaf thing at the bottom. So again, I love how wide it gets. I just think this one's so beautiful. I think if this one was knit in the right color, it would look really great. This is somebody's wedding shawl. I hope somebody knits it for their wedding. Um, so after the four crescent shawls, then it goes into the half circle or half pie shaping. So, um, you know, sort of that traditional pie shawl that Elizabeth Zimmerman created, um, just cut in half. So a half pie shawl shape. This one is Stratura. This one's not really like a lace lace pattern. There's eyelets to do the increasing, but you can see then there's a nice textured pattern on this one. And what I love about the half circle or half pie shawls is that all the increasing only happens on these. This is a perfect shawl to show you because 
the increasing only happens on these eyelet rounds and the rest of the time you're just knitting back and forth. So you never need to worry about shaping in this whole section and this whole section. It's only those eyelet rows where you're actually um, changing your stitch count. So these make for very, very easy shawls to make. The last one I have is Barthlot. This one has like some, I use some variegated yarn. It's that done roving um, frolicking feet transitions that I use quite a bit. Um, so yeah, so this is another just smaller half pie shawl. And what I really love about this book is that, and all of these different top down shawl shapes, is that it's very easy to change the size of your shawl. For example, when I'm holding this one up, for my body type, this shawl is you know, a little too small for me. Um, this is, um, I prefer my shawl to be a little larger than this for my body type, but the beauty of um, the book and the top-down shawl shapes in general is that typically it is very easy to just keep repeating charts so you can make it the size you want, obviously, with more yarn. So the book includes make it your own sections, and that is where I tell you which charts you can repeat easily in order to make your shawl um, the size you want, which is really, really great. The other thing about the book is that there are charts for all of the stitch patterns, but I also include the written instructions for the charts. It took me a very long time to be comfortable reading charts, and so I know that chart reading isn't for everybody. Um, so the written instructions for the charts are um, in the book as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick flip through of the book. So here's the book, Top Down Shawls. You can see here, like I said, it's 12 lace knitting patterns. Um, so I'm just going to show you a quick little flip through of some of the pages of the book. Um, and just sort of show you what's inside. So you can see here, we have the breakdown of all the shawls. There's four wedge shawls. So that's two top-down triangles and then two of those three wedge shawls, four crescent shawls, four half circle or half pie shawls. And then we have that design your own section in the back, which is where you can mix and match different stitch patterns. And then there's also the other stuff you always find in a book, like the special techniques, abbreviations, all the different yarn I used, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you a few pages of the book. That's my new book, Top Down Shells. I'm very excited about this one. Okay, so that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the new book. Um, like I said, I'll leave some links down below where you can find it. Um, I always recommend that you go to your yarn store first. If they don't have it yet, just please let them know that you want it and they could possibly order some for the store. Um, that would be the best way to get the book, but I will leave some other links down below um, if there's not a yarn store near you. So that's it for me for today. Go check out Top Down Shawls. If you like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like, you can turn on notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video, which I upload new videos most Fridays. I hope that everybody has a great week and that you have lots of fun knitting lots of new shawls. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!